Hey guys, Sketchy Boy here, and today I have my uh, cylinder head here in front of you, and uh, today I am going to uh, put the valves in, and put the valve springs on, keepers, all that, and assemble this head together. So, uh, there's a few things you're going to need today. Um, first thing you're going to need is, uh, well of course, you're going to need your valves, you're going to need new seals as well, valve seals. It's always good to put new seals in. Um, you're going to need maybe some uh, needle nose pliers to get the keepers into the slot on the valve stem. You might need a screwdriver also, or maybe a magnet, it works very well as, as well. You're going to need some oil to uh, lube up the uh, valve guides and you're going to uh, need some grease also we'll talk later about that too um, and finally you're going to need your tool now today what I'm using is this is called a vice clamp and uh, essentially it just pushes the spring or compresses the spring down which allows me to put the keepers into the valve stem um, a lot of guys they use C clams work good as well um, but you can actually buy the tool that is specifically designed for compressing valve springs and putting keepers onto your valve stem um, but today I'm just gonna go Mickey Mouse and uh, do this for you all today okay so first step uh, is uh, putting on these little valve seals here these are little rubber valve seals and over time they do harden and then you might see some blue smoke coming out of your tailpipe, which might be a sign of uh, worn out valve seals or rings, but it'll be one of the two. So it's always good to replace them. Now when we're installing them on our valve guide, we should use some lube to, uh, to lube the uh, rubber up so it doesn't wreck the seal. So I'm going to go ahead and put some lube on both of these right here. And some also on the valve stem as well, or valve guide, sorry. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to go on it sideways and pop it on just like that. And same thing for the other side. Pop it in just like that. And then they should stay on there fairly easy. And uh, on my <coughs> specific cylinder head here, I have four valves per cylinder and uh, now you might think well maybe I've never seen this kind of cylinder head before where it's open like this well some motorcycles they uh, don't have an open head like this they have what is known as a the entire thing is the, is the cylinder head and there is no cylinder head cover for it or also known as a big valve cover uh, you might just have a narrow spot right here just for the valves and the only way you can get it to your cam is if you go through the side but that is a different kind of head and today I'm working on an open kind just to uh, make it easier to film and stuff and that's what I'm doing so uh, yeah the next step will be uh, actually putting the valves in okay so um, I'm gonna start with the intake valve uh, right now um, I'm only going to do one one valve because they're all the exact same and you'll get the idea of it if you have more than two well you'll have m two or more valves um, so if you look at this valve here you can kind of see on the edge here it's uh, kind of grounded down that's because I lap the valves um, lapping of valves is essentially just putting a sandpaper grease compound on your valve here and spinning it around in your in your valve seat right there creating a nice seat so it seals properly when it combusts in your combustion chamber now um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab a little bit of lube here we're gonna put it on the stem here just like this we're gonna rub it around not too much just enough put it in there now uh, we're gonna flip this over to the combustion chamber right here and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the intake right here and we're just going to slide it through like this we're going to do a twisting motion make sure there's nothing that's binding and you might have to push through like that to get through the seal and then you'll see on the other side it comes out just like that 
So make sure you can go up and down nice and freely, spin it around, nothing binding, check everything like that. So uh, next up we're going to do is uh, we're going to put the uh, spring on there, we're going to put the uh, cap on there, the keepers, and then we're going to press it down. Okay, so this is what I got going today. Um, you might only have one spring for your valves, but I have two, a little one here and a larger one here. And then we have our cap to compress the springs down. And then we have our washer that seats on the cylinder head by the valve guide so it doesn't dig into the cylinder head, the aluminum. And then we have what is known as our keepers. These are little tiny little metal pieces that keep that uh, lock into this little cap here with your valve stem and uh, it kind of locks it in there like that. So um, this is what we're going to be working with and I'm going to plop them into our intake valve. Okay, so uh, first step I'm going to do, grab my washer, put it on just like this, slide it on. Um, now we're going to put our our big our big spring on, followed by our small spring, and then our cap. Actually, we'll wait a sec. Um, we will be flipping this on the side like this. So this thing is on the top here, and I can get to the back. And uh, we'll just place that there for now. And I'll grab my tool. If you're using a uh, C-clamp or actual tool or uh, something like I have a Mickey Mouse job works sometimes. And I got this thing backwards. So essentially what I have here is a little piece of metal that I cut out. And I can uh, reach into it and put it, my keepers in there. So... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the cap on here like this and uh, we're just going to compress it down until we get, uh, we can see the uh, little slot for the keepers to go in. So just keep doing this till it goes down. Okay, so I've compressed it down and if you can see right there, that's the top of the valve stem. And that's the tool that's compressing the spring down. And if you can see, there's a little notch in there, and that's where we've got to put these keepers right in there. So um, don't compress the spring too much because you might accidentally push it down. So this is what the setup I have. It's pushing on the valve in the combustion chamber. And then this is pushing on the springs here, which allows me to put the uh, keepers in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some grease on here and essentially it will the grease is sticky so it'll stick onto the valve stem and then I will decompress the tool and it should slide right on and uh, it should be good okay guys I apologize for the poor lighting I don't know if you can see this or not but uh, I'll try my best to uh, make sure you can see this so right here I have my keepers and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of grease that I have right here and we're going to uh, put them on inside the keepers like that so they stick. And uh, we'll just put this on the other one as well. And uh, we're going to grab the keeper just like this. We're going to grab it like that. And then we're going to try to pop it into position without dropping it in. Now this can be yeah see this can be a little bit of a hassle um then you grab your magnet like this and then you restart two on now we just put this in place like this and now all we do is we just decompress the tool so on my thing it's a little button over here and we're gonna press down like this and pull up and if you can see now you can see that this valve and uh we can turn this off now. we can see that this valve now is all put together you can see that the keepers sat into the cap nice and tightly now you want to push on this make sure it doesn't come off a couple times 
seems to be good and we look on the other side you can see that the valve is seated in there nicely so yeah I mean that pretty much wraps up this video um, now these other two are the identical you know you, you might have five valves per cylinder two valves per cylinder I have four valves per cylinder so it will vary per different engine and different companies but uh, there you go so it's fairly simple and if you get the right tool it's a lot better um, even my Mickey Mouse setup it was pretty easy so um, the first time you do it it will be a little tricky putting those keepers into the slot there but uh, um, you should be okay so yeah um, thanks for watching make sure you click that subscribe button and like the video um, there will be a ton more videos just like this on engine parts, motorcycles, quads, anything like that. If you want to have a video, post down in the comments below and uh, I'll sure to get back to you and hopefully I'll make a video on what you'd like. So anyways guys, I'll see you later.